Anyways, hello boys and girls, I have no idea how to start this episode, so just take a look at this. Um... And eat them. Look around, stay low, make sure they don't see them. Catch some bad walk. I'm a life I will now make my cat hit the gritty. Don't fail me. Don't fail me. Okay, cool. Ready? Genshin Impact. <laughs> Anyways, it's your host, Manny, and we're back for Retro Coffee. Yay! Retro Coffee! I'm Burger Cheeseburger Big Mac Whopper. Anyways, how you doing? It's me, Manny. I'm back, and we're back for Retro Coffee. I'm gonna stop numbering these, because if we if I do more than 10, I'm gonna forget what number we're on. <sighs> okay, cool. Actually, if we do more than 5, I'm gonna forget what number we're on. Okay. Anyways, time to get started. So, basically, this week... There's a lot of gaming rumors going around. There's not much to talk about besides, you know, rumors. So, you know, it's been it's been dry for a couple weeks other than like really big stories or really little stories. So, um, there's a, supposed to be an Xbox presentation on the 17th and it is currently the 12th. So, uh, I'm going to try to upload this as fast as I can. So, these are my theories and there's also news information in this. Um, there's also Pokemon news, and we got other news, and we'll talk about it, and then we'll go from there, and then I'll give you my theories, and then if I'm right, I'm gonna make a million fucking dollars, and I'm gonna get a thousand subscribers, but anyways, subscribers, anyways, let's get started, shan't we? Okay, so, first, Xbox, so, in the week of, last week, uh, a bunch of websites have started uh, releasing rumors about Xbox releasing its hold on game titles that are console exclusives. Um, it's been going around the internet with data miners finding evidence games such as Hi-Fi Rush are going to be released to Switch as well as PlayStation. Hi-Fi Rush is a futuristic rock rhythm game that was released at the start of last year on Xbox and Windows, published by Bethesda and developed by Tango Games. It seems to have left a lot of blood in the water for gaming news, yes gaming news, and journalists because now it's being reported and rumored that Bethesda, Indiana Jones, and The Great Circle will be released on PS5 shortly after Xbox's release. And not just that, but other games like the short-lived Star Starfield and the beloved Sea of Thieves are also rumored to be followed. Uh, and you know, this is not big news because, uh, you know... I think we've seen Xbox do that a lot with their games, or a few of their games, uh, and they recently bought uh, Activision and Blizzard, so I think we're going to see a really big explosion in video game history as we're talking about it. Um, but yeah, if you've been around the gaming circle for a while, uh, you would know that Xbox recently bought Activision and Blizzard. But before the buyout, PlayStation had time exclusiveness for the Call of Duty franchise for a couple years. Uh, what's got the internet scared and gaming journalist? Oh no, not the gaming journalist. <laughs> Going in a frenzy is a rumor that Xbox would no longer be releasing Xboxes? Huh? What the fuck? What the fuck would they be doing? And the focus is more on the video game department. Nothing has been confirmed yet, but the CEO of Xbox, Bill Spencer, has released a statement on X saying, quote, We're listening and we hear you, he said. We've been planning a business update event for next week and we're we're gonna we we're we look forward to sharing more details with you about our vision for the future of xbox stay tuned i looked on x and it's supposedly a podcast so uh i think he's gonna have joe rogan it's like chastity keys bulls and all this other shit if they say it's just larp no normal person knows all of these porn terms it just seems a little strained and uh the president of uh uganda so yeah uh i hope i think it's gonna be amazing i can't wait to see it i can't wait to see what they talk about it's gonna be amazing uh my theory is xbox 720 or uh 
virtual boy xbox anyways no i'm kidding uh but my theory on the subject at hand is that microsoft's xbox will announce a merger with sony's playstation whether it be a whether it be game services such as game pass with playstation plus like a merger or it could be in the works that xbox will stop making xboxes not for a while but into the future they will and they will solely focus on making video games, publishing their IPs, or selling them, or writing them out, such as companies like Sony does with Spider-Man. For the Marvel consumers, consumers, yeah, you motherfuckers. That okay, so think of it. Basically, Xbox owns Halo, or Microsoft owns Halo. They own Xbox. They're gonna rent out Halo, Cortana, Cortana's ass to PlayStation. So PlayStation can put Cortana Hentai on PlayStation, and then everyone will be happy. Yes, that's yeah, that's my idea. So anyway, this will not be dangerous for Xbox as long as they do it safely and hold their IPs. They should they should be set. I think they will announce something similar to this. Why? Well, a big game is coming. Can you think of it? Tell me. Give me give me a game. Tell me what it is. Give me it! Give me it! Give me it right now! Think of the game that's coming. That's gonna be PlayStation exclusive. I'll give you a time to chance. I'll, ta I'll give you time to think. Okay. Yes, Monkey Ball. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Final Fantasy. Uh, it's been a, it's a, a PlayStation is rumored that uh, okay. So PlayStation has been rumored uh, a big game. The big game is Final Fantasy, and fin Final Fantasy has been uh, rumored to only be on PlayStation. Uh, but it, as it's been stated to be a PlayStation exclusive, I believe Xbox will be will be playing nice, and so they can give and take as they choose. And with the release of Final Fantasy Rebirth, the second part. Coming out at the end of the month, I think it would only make sense for them to announce something big like this and get Final Fantasy in return. Whether it be a merger of Game Pass and PlayStation, which would make sense. It would be like a monopoly, like the way like Disney has bought like other things and like made it into their own, like on Disney Plus or just like on the Disney company. I think it would make sense for Xbox to be like, okay, we're gonna play nice with you. Here's Halo, here's Sea of Thieves, here's this, and then you give us Final Fantasy. We have Final Fantasy on Xbox. Because it was room, it, it was, uh, I read an article on a game uh, news site saying that Final Fantasy was gonna come to Xbox, but now all of a sudden it's rumored that it's not gonna come. So I think that's what it's gonna be either a merger or like just a safe like distribution of IPs. So yeah. All right, let's continue. All right, now, guess what? Yeah, more Switch news. Yeah, this is all, this is all fucking just rumors. Okay, so we're not, we don't have any fucking news. Um, basically, it's scraps. The news, the news sites on gaming news, all they're fucking posting is um, Power World and um, best uh, 360s to buy from a Chinese sweat market. But other than that, there's no other gaming news. So, I'm reporting for y'all. Cause I'm, I love y'all, and cause I'm a gamer. Anyways, and don't worry, this is a, this is not a stain. I swear, this is just not. Anyways, uh, the Switch Two is 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 having the most rumors out of any other console this gen. Maybe because the Switch left people with a bad taste in their mouth, or maybe because people are ready for more. Coming from a Brazilian Nintendo news site, the site claims that a few things. Let's go through them. Let's see what they're gonna say. Cause I bet they're gonna say some bullshit. Cause I can't understand those Portuguese. But let's two, 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 two. Let's see. Okay. Switch is gonna be backwards compatible with the OG Switch styles. Okay, I mean, we've known this for a while. I mean, I think Nintendo's always been good with backwards compatibility as far as like the consoles go. Whether it be the three DS or the Wii. So I don't think this is like a big leap to like to guess. So I don't know. Uh next it's going to have both digital and physical games. Okay, like what kind of like guess is that? Like that's just a given. It's gonna it's gonna have fucking physical and digital games. Like what the fuck do you think they are? The fucking the fucking nineteen hundreds where all games are on fucking a cassette? Like this is not how that works. So I think 
I don't know. This might be bullshit, but I don't know. Uh, a few other things that they say are developers are going to be able to enhance their Switch V1, their version 1, to take advantage of the processing power. This, I mean, it could go either way. I mean, of course, it seems like, you know, anyone would know this. Anyone could realize this, you know, come to conclusion that, you know, the Switch, the, the first version of Switch won't become obsolete, but it will be more open to, you know, data miners, people who want to jailbreak it, like, you know, do stuff with the Switch that, you know, they want to do stuff with. Um, but it, it all seems like possible, but you know, it all seems like someone could have came up with this and it would have been like, yeah, I guess I could get like a free bingo with this. Um, and the, the next one is, uh, it states that a direct is coming this week as well as a hard world, a hardware reveal next month. This is the only one where I'm like, okay, if you get this right, then yes, I believe you. But, but. I think because the last point that they had, the last point that they had was that there's going to be a Pokemon Direct at the end of the month. Like that was their last point. And with, a, and you see, like, I understand like all this being like, meh, I could believe it. The only reason I would not believe this is because I could just guess this myself. Who the fuck like? You know, Pokemon Pokemon days at the end of February, and you could guess like, oh, maybe with the new new uh, Pokemon games, they're gonna you know release the new gen. I mean, would it be a uh, would it be a big leap? Uh, it wouldn't be a big leap to think that. Um, but yeah, I, I just don't think it's too broad. Um. 4chan. Do you like 4chan? Do you like FBI raiding your house? FBI, open up! Open up! Yes, I do. <laughs> Anyways, yes, Pokemon Day. Yay! 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 It's not power, but you know, it, it'll do. I mean, um, you know, Whoopi, or should I say Whooper? Because the leaks are <laughs> coming out of my ass. <laughs> Uh, out of the most dangerous place on earth, earth, yes, 4chan, every exactly, exactly. Every year, a new leak comes from 4chan saying they know the world's gonna end, God is a woman, and Elon Musk will be president. President, but I've been through this, and I have to say, it doesn't look like very like, like, usually, like, 4chan's like, oh my, I'm in the same cave looking for minors because my sexual attraction to minors is major. I could say there's a 50 50. 50 50 percent chance that the leaks are correct or the stuff that the leakers said will be true. Um, they're stating that a new game will be releasing in the months of October or November, with those games being centered around the Johto region of Pokemon, with Wooper and Togepi as the stars. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I've seen mock ups of these, like the Switch boxes that they have. They're like supposedly like the leaks of it. Um, but I'm pretty sure I've seen that before like I, I thought I saw like fan art on X of like just someone saying like oh This would be a cool concept. I might be wrong. I might be wrong, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we'll see um, To me as a Pokemon fan like a diehard Pokemon fan It would make no sense to have a Pokemon partner that has three stages and one has two uh, That'd be breaking their whole like, you know the whole thing the whole thing they do um, the formula Especially since these games will be like the let's go games. Um, I just don't think it's possible. I don't think it's possible at all. Uh, they're also reporting that Pokemon, like this Pokemon let's go style game will have, uh, will, will come back with abilities, held items, transferable Pokemon from the newer generations. Um, this seems pretty odd. I don't know. I've been through the Pokemon cycle and like I think like five years ago I realized that yes. Pokemon usually releases their games around October November. That's always the time they release games like that's always the time They usually announce it at the beginning of the year They wait like a year before they announce a new one and then they release it at the end of the months at the end of the year That's just like the formula that they have I, I think if you look at the charts of it like that's just like what Pokemon's been doing for a while um, and It doesn't like unless it was a spin-off and this is would be a spin-off. Um, it's not a main title it could be true, but
But like everything he's saying, it's like uh, I don't know. So the the rumors are like scary, scary, not accurate. I don't know. But I guess we'll see. Um, yeah, that's all the news we got for this week. Uh, let me go grab my cat so he can crip walk again. I got a new one. Well, I got a different one. Here, this one's gonna crip walk. Here. Oh fuck, it's too big. I said right. Hostia, que buenos. Los que buenos, los que. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She died. Look at her. Anyways, that's gonna be the end of the gaming news this week. Um, well, at the start of the week, I think uh, the presentation's on the 17th. So after that, we'll take a look at it and then see what other gaming news we have at the end of the week. So it might be two episodes this week. Yay! Two episodes! Yay! Yay! More Crip Walk! I said, Los! Dios! Que buenos los graficos! Si! Calidad 4K! Thank you. Goodbye! Chicken.